quiet village in the countryside in Jordan, engineers are building the Middle East's first synchrotron. But this is no ordinary engineering project. The machine, called Sesame, has a long history. In the 1980s, it had a home outside Berlin. When Germany stopped funding the synchrotron in the late 90s, the government donated it to the Middle East. So the machine was broken down, boxed up, and moved to Jordan. When Spectrum visited last May, only the Microtron, one of the accelerator's three main sections, was set up in the main hall. You have the Microtron. This is its a, a final, uh, final position. Tape on the floor marked out the other two sections, the booster and the storage ring. When it's completed, the synchrotron will produce a piercing beam of light, which scientists will use to examine the structures of materials. All this area uh, you see today uh, empty will be really very covered, uh, uh, I hope, uh, in next years. Sesame's staff is busy reconstructing the circuits and controls. But getting even this far has been a daunting task. Remember, all the equipment is 30 years old. Here, you can see this is the, the, the diagnostic rack um, that uh, was in the control room. Uh, you can see the shape of the, the beam that has been monitored. Since, in fact, uh, it's very old and some electronics, we cannot find the replacement in the market. So we, wanted, we decided to not to use, in fact, this kind of uh, rack. Uh, we want to replace completely the diagnostics, the control, the electronics almost. This is very old. That's all been updated. So has the machine's design. The action will start with the Microtron. It contains an electron gun that fires out a beam of electrons. And then the beam will go inside the booster. And the booster will be uh, 38 meter in circumference here. In the booster, the electrons will pick up speed as they race around in circles. Then the beam uh, will be extracted from the booster to enter to a, the biggest machine, which is the storage ring, 133 meter in circumference. So it will be a very large machine. The storage ring will provide even more energy. Here, special magnets will deflect the electrons, forcing them to emit photons. This high energy light can be used to probe materials at the molecular level. Given that they started with a vintage synchrotron, these engineers have come a long way towards building a world-class facility. For the control system, we have to, 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 to also to work on it. But uh, today, the Microtron and the booster are in the good, uh, the good way. The remaining hurdle for Sesame is to find the money for a new high energy storage ring. More energy leads to greater magnification, which would make Sesame competitive with other accelerators. But the ring, uh, 2.5 GV is like, I mean, the European synchrotron light sources. The energy is almost uh, in the same scale, 2.5 GV. Sesame's employees hope to encourage peace among neighbors. Already, scientists and engineers from Israel, Iran, and the Palestinian territories have come together to plan the machine's future. When it's finally built, engineers and scientists from many nearby countries will conduct research side by side. In the Middle East, that's not just unique, it's almost unheard of. For IEEE Spectrum, I'm Sandra Upson.